Good to see you. All right there, Revenants, welcome back to Code Vein in the Road to 100, and there is a bit of a schedule change coming, um, so just watch out for that. We're going to be uh, doing our uploads Monday through Friday now, and uh, I'm going to not be doing as much streaming uh, for the for the just a, a little bit of time here, um, but uh, just keep that in mind. I've got some uh, issues going on, so I just need to make sure that the uploads are going out, but uh, we're going to be uh, taking a break from streaming for a little bit, so keep that in mind. Okay, so onwards today with uh, what we are running here. And so this is going to be the main build that we are going to work through here in the Ridge of Frozen Souls. And uh, just remember that when we get to the Boreal Brutes, the only debuff that they are weak to is uh, slow. And so we are not going to be able, or sorry, Venom, uh, we are not going to be able to stun or slow them. And so we do need to uh, think about how do we uh, poison them during that time. So for this setup here, uh, we are going to attempt to go for uh, like a fast dragon lunge. And we are going to try and get Icor back by doing a whole lot of hammer smashes and the... Uh, issue here is that we need to try and get as many hammer smashes in as possible as you can see there oh he just uh decided to kill himself you'll notice that uh, every time the hammer connects uh we apply the value of 18 uh status value to our um value of status debuff here yeah, for uh, each enemy, and each enemy has a uh, a gauge that needs to be filled up. As you can see, the uh, squares that go around. Uh, you can put this um, this gauge value into like a photo editor or something, and you can work it out um, how much uh, value each uh, bar is and everything. Um, but every every enemy is uh, completely different with how they uh, operate. Ouch. Um, I figured that guy was uh, coming over here. But um, the interesting part is that uh, even though they all have um, different values, uh, you can build up that bar uh, very, very quickly. Now you you will notice there on the, um, on the uh, fella there with the explodey vest, the suicide vest, he, um, actually, uh, was, um, whoops, he was, uh, at, at a uh, point there where he resists stun, so those guys are immune to stun, which is kind of, uh, strange and kind of interesting all at the same time, that those guys can indeed, um, outdo you, in a sense, by not, um, allowing you to stun them. You can slow them or poison them, but you cannot, um, you cannot stun them. So kind of, kind of unfortunate there. Okay. So these guys will take them out first. Um, but you can see that, uh, as we, uh, as we do have, you know, a, um, a stun weapon here, whoops, we, we can indeed, um, we can indeed stun enemies. But uh, it's not an insane amount of stun here, as you can see. Uh, so we'll go for max tab every time we get a stun like that. It is very important to capitalize uh, during those kinds of situations. So having having the ability to play exactly the enemy's uh, weaknesses of, you know, what uh, what um, is their lowest build up value. For example, these things, uh, they are a kind of one-hit um, attack here to make them, uh, you know, be stunned or whatever. So for this Boreal Brute, we are going to switch to a, um, a uh, poison um, hammer to make sure that we have the most uh, poison buildup we can go for. Whoops. Okay, let's go for this. Okay, almost poisoned. That is very good. Okay, now he's poisoned. And he's kind of out of control here. Okay. 
Now you might be wondering how we knock off his armor so easily. Whoops, he's just going to go kill himself. And that is because the burned warhammer is indeed uh, a hammer that innately has uh, fire damage built into it at a 20% value. So we are able to pretty much get a free fire buff uh, right there. So we can knock off uh, his armor uh, any and every time that we come up against him. And you can see how good uh, Dragon Lunge is that we jump up and out of the way of those balls. So if they were to move or do anything shifty, then we would be able to uh, stun them immediately on the second attack that we come down. Um, it has nothing to do with the different kinds of moves or anything because each time you apply a status debuff to an enemy, uh, it takes into account only the values that are listed here on the card. So you'll notice that uh, each one of these is a certain value here with um, uh, the debuff buildup. 25% uh, increase for Venom, Inhibit, and Slow, and a 20% increase for Stun. Stun is always less than pretty much everything else, um, and if we go for Inhibit, uh, you can see here that that is the same uh, as 37. So, uh, Inhibit is kind of a strange one, because a lot of enemies don't uh, do a whole lot of, like, gift kind of attacking and so having access to inhibit is usually kind of um, an oddity that you come across so as we continue on here you'll notice that uh, that that uh, enemies take a pretty long time to attempt to stun them uh, which is why it's it's really really beneficial uh, to have a stun weapon uh, because you're always, always, always trying to build up that stun bar, um, and uh, it uh, it definitely, definitely, definitely helps to be able to, uh, you know, put that uh, stun value out uh, when you can. As you can see there, it gave us uh, a free hit and a free stagger, so definitely worth it there um, to have that uh, active. Okay. And whoops! And so the the uh, double swing here is allowing us to apply twice the uh, status debuff here. So that is very nice. So we'll knock him down, and then we'll go for a uh, double swing, and then a double swing, and that gets us a stun into a an attack and a poison and a slow. Uh, so every time that your hammer or whatever weapon it is strikes the enemy, gifts or otherwise, um, you are able to, uh, you know, put out that uh, debuff value um, with, uh, whoops, we just pushed him off the edge, with each hit, whether it comes from a gift or it comes from, um, like, the, uh, like, the weapon strike itself or something. Whoops. I dodged at the wrong time. He he did a head fake there, and that definitely uh, <laughs> faked me out. Um, but the nice thing also about the Burned Warhammer is that it is also treated as a uh, float weapon here in vain, which is very, very nice for lightning charge. As you'll notice, it allows us to float through the animation just like a one-handed sword or otherwise oops so that is very 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 helpful and beneficial that it is not like a uh, two-handed sword um, it actually acts itself like a uh, one-handed sword or a bayonet or something like that so that is pretty awesome that we have that ability to actually uh, abuse the um, the lightning charge in that sort of manner. So that is typically not the case for like two-handed weapons or uh, the other ha some of the other hammers uh, that you can come across. And so it's really really nice that we have that option here to be able to, um, you know, either go fast if we want to, or we can uh, work on, you know, doing things in an appropriate manner. Okay, so, whoops, we are again going for the uh, Venom, 
a hammer here for this boreal brute. Okay. Okay. And that. Oh, he's doing that one. Whoops. Good. He's he's poisoned now. Okay. So that that will help us uh, considerably here with his health. And that's fine if he uh, gets his armor. We can just knock it off right away. And this will help us also here uh, that he is knocked down. That we can get a free uh, dragon lunge there to poison him. And we'll knock off his armor again. And then we can just let him uh, time out here. Which is great. So the Boreal Brutes are pretty... Uh, straightforward and simple. Actually, when you get to a point here where uh, you can use some status debuffs because of poison, and the nice thing is about uh, Dragon Lunge is that it does have that beautiful knockdown uh, at the end of it there, which is really, really, really helpful for us. Okay, so for Nicola, um, this operates pretty much the same way. It's just a little bit harder because his debuff value uh, that you have to uh, fill on his gauge is much higher. Um, I was doing some testing on my own and uh, I got pretty close to the values, but the Code Vein community has come together and um, uh, we are starting to uh, look at those values and what they mean and how they act on our weapons here. And as you can see on the uh, values that we're going to get here with Nicola, um, we, you won't be able to count it, but uh, his uh, poison value that you need to get a, uh, that you need to get through is 420, and his uh, stun value that you need to get through is um, 360. Uh, so remember, uh, stun is stun is always, always, always at a lower um, a lower value. Like the buildup is lower, and the um, active value that you get is always lower as well for example um numbing mark is less stun than venom mark and debuff buildup affects it uh five percent less than the other uh than the other debuffs so uh like if um for for example the uh debuff buildup uh, bonus is 25 for Venom, and it is uh, 20, or it's 20% for, um, whoops, for uh, uh, stun. So kind of a, uh, an unfair uh, direction there against uh, stun. Okay, let's get this going. Let's get this going. And let's get this going. Okay. Now you'll notice that occasionally we will hit uh, Nicola's shield, and that will not allow us to um, apply the uh, debuff. Uh, that is just how it goes sometimes. Um, that is just the way that it works. Okay. Whoops. Okay, so he's stunned, slowed, and poisoned. That is great. Okay. But the stun went all the way through the phase there. Okay, so now it's just a matter of dancing around uh, behind him if you can. Uh, to not get hit by his uh, fists or anything. And you want to uh, simply just go around in circles here um, to make sure that you're continuously hitting for that debuff buildup uh, value here. Um, and, uh, oh, that is a bad, bad, bad thing to be a part of. Okay. All right, we're focused. Um, so let's get this going. Oh, this is bad. Okay, and let's get our uh, gifts going. And, okay, you're backing up. That's fine. Whoops, I didn't dodge. Um, so, 
so phase two here is just uh, literally waiting for your um, your three uh, weapon status debuffs to come back uh, to make sure that you are getting those hits in with those higher values. You definitely want him slowed because we have a giant hammer and that is pretty awful and you want him uh, poisoned for that extra 15% uh, damage that you don't have to deal um, and you also want him stunned so you can let your stamina recover uh, very very nicely so there's a whole lot of things going on here with with how you uh, want to choose uh, what you're doing um, and and why you're whoops why you're going about uh, doing what you're doing and a lot of times the uh there you saw that we did not apply the uh debuff because we hit a shield so that is most unfortunate okay this will give us time to apply our uh debuffs here okay oops he interrupted my ability there that is most unfortunate okay so now we can just ha hammer away unintended and let's go for a charge attack for big big damage there okay nice let's go for a, a stun a stun cartridge it's unfortunate there that he is uh stunned through the uh phase transition okay let's back up we're gonna need some stamina here oh okay we're trading trading sides here. Whoops. And this is kind of the dance uh, that you do here with Nicola uh, to make sure that you are, um, you know, actually uh, using your status debuffs uh, well. Okay. Now he's stunned, so we can get some gifts going here. And we're dead. Okay. Almost got the dragon lunge off. And there he's going through his punch routine. No problem. Um, so the hammer is the hammer is pretty intense here uh, because it is so slow. Um, and he resists crush extra, um, extra lots of of uh, resistance here that we are trying to bash through. Uh, you definitely want to be going for um, Pierce here in this fight and we are going for exactly the thing that you probably shouldn't be doing. Slash is much 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 worse um, so that's good that we're not going for Slash um, but, um, but Crush is not uh, that great either um, as you can tell. And uh, the problem we have here is that uh, this is simply a, uh, you know, in in interesting fashion, it is a uh, stunt, a uh, stagger um, and stamina uh, challenge, as Nicola should be having the Fion um, blood code. Okay, and let's get him stunned and slowed and poisoned here. There we go. And now he is going to do a couple things here. But that's okay. Because we can uh, go for uh, pretty much everything and anything we want here. Okay, he's going to do these things, but uh, we can get him uh, stunned here, which is great. And we'll go for a charge attack. Okay, time to back up and recover a bunch of stamina and everything. Let's get in there so he doesn't do his icicles or anything. Now it's... Uh, whoops. Oh, okay, I dodged at the wrong time. I didn't uh, get the delay. Uh, so, the the uh, debuff buildup here is uh, pretty difficult with the... Uh, with the hammer and because you're only applying that that value each and every time that you 
uh, use um, your weapon. And so um, I'd like to show you guys uh, a, a build here that is uh, very odd um, to be using Perseus here, which doesn't seem like, you know, why would you be using that? Um, but it's actually a little bit ridiculous with um, how crazy a build like this can get. Uh, you'll see here that our damage is only at 445, but as soon as Bridge to Glory kicks in from the, our Light Gift, as well as having uh, Opportunism active pretty much the whole entire time, and our Stun, or our, uh, stun Web here that we're going to be able to put out uh, very quickly, and we will have all kinds of uh, gift speed increases here as we go along and if we bring Eva along it goes even faster and crazier uh, so keep this in mind uh, this is the uh, the amazing amazing uh, boss build that you can do for Nicola uh, specifically in this fight um, it is exceptionally fun and engaging um, very 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 enjoyable okay and uh, I'll show you here in just a second. So we want to uh, stand about here, get that off. Uh, whoop. There we go. And now we want to hit him a few times. Okay. Now you can see here that uh, he uh, is definitely having a, um, a very, very rough time of it here because we are, um, you know, having so much uh, stun value that we can put off on him. So it's uh, pretty crazy here. And you can see the amount of damage that we're able to uh, take away here is uh, pretty incredible. Okay, so let's stand back, give him a stun web, um, and he's going to do something. Can't tell what he's actually going to do. Okay, so now we do need to uh, get our debuffs reapplied here. Um, so let's uh, see if we can run away from him here. Okay. And Bridge to Glory is over, so that's fine. That is good for us. We can get a... Uh, um, And he did the delayed, the delayed jump again. That is the uh, pretty hard one to uh, if you're continuously locked on, and because it comes out so fast um, and everything. But uh, you can see that uh, with this kind of a setup here, uh, you can actually take him down way fast uh, with your debuffs and everything because of the fact that you are using um, circulating pulse to. Uh, reapply every single piece of your uh, debuff toolkit very 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 fast so we can switch this to whichever web we want um, because that allows us to um, you know do each of these uh, uh, defense uh, or each of these uh, debuffs kind of at will here okay and let's do this Whoa, he hit me? Okay. I did not think he was going to hit me at all there. That was kind of weird. Okay. Okay. I don't know what is going on here with Nicola. I don't know why he was just standing there doing nothing for a second. Um, he was slowed, I know, but he was still doing zero animations. He wasn't starting anything. Uh, very odd. Um, so... This is not how uh, the testing went. This is totally odd, strange, different behavior here that he's uh, showing. And I mean, I guess that's par for the course usually uh, with how he uh, engages. But, oh well. Okay, so let's head in here. Um, okay. And yes, yes. All right, let's uh, get him uh, all kinds of stunned up here and slowed up. Okay, 
and you can see that we have like a crazy amount of uh, not only stun buildup but we also have uh, poison and slow uh, going here all at the same time and he just continues to uh, get stunned uh, continuously here okay and he's gonna transition now okay let's go for a cartridge yeah no no jumping away for you okay Okay, he should not have gotten off that hit. Alright. Okay, let's reapply our debuffs here. And we're dead. Okay. <laughs> oh, Nicola. Oh, he's just... He's just in a different league of his own here. All of a sudden. Um, kind, of, kind of strange... Uh, how he's going about um, doing this, but oh well. Uh, so if we want, uh, we can change this to like stun shot. Now uh, the shots are not um, the best value that you can go for. Uh, the webs are the best value you can go for. However, you do have to realize that if you have the shots, uh, you can use them immediately. Uh, whoops. Um, like this. And you can use it over and over and over uh, to reapply uh, a status uh, fairly okay. Alright. Okay, so he's just uh, completely uh, stunned up here, which is great. The more time he uh, remains stunned is the more time we have on our uh, self here to make sure that we, uh, whoops, that we can use, um, oh good grief, that we can use our uh, other three uh, debuffs here. And that's really, really, really important that we have those pretty much active all the time um and let's just uh end this here and we'll, we'll bring eva along um but uh definitely a very uh different sort of way of going about engaging with nicola and this is even with his crazy 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 slash defenses um because what we are counting on right is our um is our ability to apply these different debuffs and you can even go for the venom one and the uh, stun one at different points it doesn't matter uh, you can switch it up and change it up here to make sure that you are getting you know exactly what you need at any point in time uh, okay and you'll notice now that we have the extra speed from uh, Eva here so it's going to go uh, a little bit crazier here as we uh, go along. And so the extra speed is super helpful here for us. Okay. Oops. Okay. And see, now, oh, okay. Now we can, um, continuous, oh. Okay, and somehow he's still flying in the air. And now that we are slowed down, uh, considerably here, um, it's, uh, pretty difficult to, uh, actually, whoops, to actually get anything going. Okay. Yeah, 
and I completely missed him uh, for whatever reason there. <laughs> okay, good. And I'm dead again. <laughs> oh my goodness. Nicola, you are just not ceasing to uh, perform here. That is okay, I guess. Okay, well, um, he's he's dead. Uh, not the way that I wanted to show you guys, um, but <laughs> okay. Well, at least he, at least he's done. Um, but I don't really recommend the hammer route uh, because of just how slow it is. Uh, it's a pretty intense fight um, that way, and and how it actually goes. Uh, but the Brianna here, you can actually get it to be. Uh, pretty powerful with like cartridges and everything along the way um, and uh, if we if we use not just uh, stun cartridges but like venom cartridges and slow cartridges as well uh, we can get this to be pretty crazy here along the way um, so uh, let me let me show you here uh, how how fast we can apply these these debuffs here along the way and if we um, get rid of our uh, stun shot here or any kind of shot and go for a gift extension, it will uh, increase the longevity of everything by 50%, right? So you're not you're not waiting around for most things. Um, so let's uh, let's take a look here at what this uh, kind of a, an attack route looks like here. Okay, and we definitely need to get in here and get some Icor quickly. And we're hitting his shield, so no Icor, uh, unfortunately. Okay, he's poisoned. That's good. And we'll switch to the stun. Okay. Okay. We got icicles now. Okay. And let's go for stun. And now, slow. Whoops. Okay, now poison. Um, where is it? Poison. Okay. And he's still slowed some for some reason. Wow, that was weird. For whatever reason, he uh, <laughs> played a little bit weird there. And um, it's very... Okay, whatever. It's very awesome that uh, we can apply these debuffs uh, kind of uh, at will here. As we have um, more and more and more and more of them. Okay, now we are in business here. Uh, now that we have all of them active again. Okay. And we want to go for a stun. Because that is, you know, like the most powerful here that we can go for. Okay. And he's slowed now. So he's not going to be able to do anything. And there we go. Okay. It's uh, not pretty. Um, but it's a very uh, interesting way that you can go about um, loading up on the um, on the status debuffs. And using cartridges is, uh, you know, where the extra superpower comes in. And then having the 25% and Bridge to Glory uh, all active. Now the only reason we're using the Brionic is because of the is the because of the high uh, resistance uh, or the high um, Icor recovery here. But if you go for anything that's actually like a real damage value weapon, 
um, this uh, this becomes incredibly incredibly powerful like if we do something like the cerulean spear you can see that it's like double the damage value pretty much um, it's still not an insane amount of uh, damage but just the fact that the weapon itself starts at a double damage value uh, it really does uh, make a big 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 difference here um, so let's uh, get in here uh, with the cartridges real quick um, and then we'll just apply that here okay all right and we'll go for stun Okay. All right, we'll go for a stun here. Okay. And you can see there that uh, you can absolutely remove this guy from the battlefield with some pierce, uh, pierce attacks and how this operates. Um, and we didn't even use as many cartridges or gift accelerators or anything this time um, because we didn't need to because we had the fire pierce uh, weakness built into our weapon here. Um, and so it makes a huge difference in the amount of damage. So the burn war hammer it uh, would it would not do as well here as you know what we are doing here with Perseus, um, but uh, the Brionic is a fun one to try and play around with because of your Icor uh, crazy recovery here. But when you go for something that is specifically designed to destroy this boss, um, you can whack through him uh, very 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 fast uh, with status debuffs and it is quite a lot of fun so anyways uh, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you tomorrow uh, for another episode and you guys take care thanks for watching bye